Sage Wanderer here, and welcome to Ivil Say Orway Update. So I wanted to talk about some things because there's a lot of disinformation and argumentative information going around concerning the uh, Capitol protest and what happened there on the 6th. So I shared in my, uh, under the community tab on my YouTube channel, a posting where I shared uh, a video by Slightly Offensive's and Blaze TV's Elijah Schaefer. Elijah Schaefer is a well-known Antifa fighter and journalist. Uh, he often dresses as Antifa and infiltrates Antifa, and uh, he's had his head bashed in on a couple of occasions for doing that. He was one of the only people who was walking around freely inside the Chaz Chop, Chop Zone in Seattle, and Elijah Schaefer is probably the most courageous and... Um, and um, hard-hitting and honest journalist that I've ever seen in my life. And he is definitely one of the patriots. He is one of ours. And uh, he is uh, a defender of all things conservative and all things Christian. And I would trust this man a hundred to one over Alex Jones. I don't trust Alex Jones. I watch him every single day. I never miss a moment of him speaking. And I love to listen to him. And I got to say, I probably liked him better when we were talking about uh, uh, Mars colonies and, uh, you know, Bigfoot being a transdimensional being. All right. And the, the new political turn, I've ne I haven't missed a, I haven't missed a show. Really, I rarely miss. And I'm upset when he gets taken down. And, and I play a game of whack-a-mole all the time with General Shepard on the YouTube trying to catch what YouTube channel is active right now and has him on it. Uh, because where I live, it's much harder to stream from the internet from someplace like uh, his website than it is YouTube. YouTube's technology is smoother when you have a limited amount of bandwidth like I do. I call it fishing out here. I have an antenna on a pole, and I just kind of, I got to move it with the sun as the interference changes to keep a little threads of, of uh, you know, of connectivity here in my uh, cabin down by the creek. So, um... AJ and others and, you know, a lot of, I think, Q people are saying that this was Antifa who went into the Capitol building. But I'm going to post in the description a link to the Elijah Schaefer video where Elijah Schaefer was inside. He went with them. He was in the first group that breached the first barricade. And there's a lot of stuff going on around saying that these guys that were in there had their MAGA hats on backwards, and that's what Antifa would do. Well, if you watch the video, they didn't start with their hat on backwards. And if you've ever been, and you know, people that are saying this are people that's never been in a fight with a guy who's wearing a baseball cap, or has never been in a fight while you're wearing a baseball cap. Now, there's two moves you can do when you get into a scuffle and you're wearing a hat. You don't want to leave the hat on your face because it limits your peripheral vision, and you can't see the overhand right coming in. Ouch, I hit myself in my own eyeball. See? See, you can't see it. <laughs> Put myself in my own eye with glasses, nonetheless. That was that was the magic shot there. But that's my point. When you're wearing that visor, you can't see what's coming. So every fight I've ever been in, when I'm wearing a hat, um, I either throw it down or I knock it off before I go after the guy, right? Or I kick it back with my hand before I go in. A lot of young guys, younger than me, the generation younger than me, who was used to baseball caps all the time, they spin their cap around and you know they're about to fight. If you see... It, <laughs> If you see a black woman taking off her shoes or you see a white guy putting his hat on backwards, you're about to get slapped upside your head one way or the other. So these people that are wearing their hats on backwards weren't wearing their hats on backwards until they started scuffling with the police. And that's the first thing they did was turn them around. I'm telling you, the guys that Elijah Schaefer, these are the ones that pushed over the barricades. These are the ones that went into the building. They were the point of the spear. They were ahead of all of them. And none of those people were Antifa. And Elijah Schaefer's telling you, the people that went into the building first were not Antifa. The people that were there when the woman got shot were not Antifa. And, you know, Alex Jones is going around claiming that the video of the girl getting shot was shot by an Antifa member. Okay? I don't believe him unless there's more videos and one was shot by them because Elijah Schaefer in this video says the person who shot the video of the girl getting shot is someone he vouches for, someone he knows and someone he uh, uh, is someone who is a member of the uh, right wing alternative media. 
okay? So there were at least two legitimate right-wing media people in that first group. Elijah Schaefer in this video talks about he was scared because he was hoping, he just, was just hoping that his credentials would protect him from being prosecuted because he was not part of the protest. He was following the protest. He was documenting the protest. And if it wasn't for him, it would be easy for there to be all kinds of disinformation. And I'm, I'm actually grateful that Elijah Schaefer uh, was able to, uh, to document this for us and give us his firsthand account. Because I trust him as an honest man. And I've caught, I have caught Alex Jones lying for multiple purposes. Okay? So you're going to say, well, why would Alex Jones be actively lying about about Antifa at the protest. Well, there's a couple of things going on, and let's let's just clarify what I'm talking about. Were there Antifa in that half a million people around the White House? Probably so. Did Antifa say they were going to come dressed as as uh, Proud Boys and Trump supporters? Yes, we know that that's true as well. Uh, did the Proud Boys talk about dressing up like Antifa to go do some violent things and blame it on them? Yeah, they talked about that too. So why would Alex Jones be lying? Because he's in on it. And I hate to throw my own people under the bus, but what you're going to get from this channel is the truth, no matter how inconvenient or un un unsavory it is. That I haven't lied to you. I don't lie to anybody. I'm not a liar. You can ask all of my women if I got if, if I was in a situation where I was unhappy and I didn't want to be with this woman and I wanted to look elsewhere. I didn't cheat on him. I just broke up with him like you're supposed to. <laughs> I'm telling you. I have been, I have had four women dragging me into a bedroom before when I was a musician, okay, at an industry party. They're dragging me in the bedroom and I'm pushing them off, all telling them, I'm sorry, I'm married, I have a wife at home, leave me alone. <laughs> so I am not a liar and I am not a cheater. And I can't say the same thing for AJ. Love you, man. Watch your show. You're very entertaining. I think you're a great power and a source for a lot of good in this world. But, you know, you'll say yourself, you ain't no choir boy and I don't trust you. But <laughs> Elijah Schaefer is, in fact, a choir boy. Elijah Schaefer doesn't have a lie in his mouth. Honestly, I would trust anything Elijah Schaefer told me. The only problem I have with Elijah Schaefer is he's he's kind of um, um, naive about the true nature of evil. Like he want him and Tim Pool both. It's part of their of the age thing. When I was their age, I would have been the same in the same boat. You know, we want to think the best of people. We don't want to think that people are capable of of, of raw, unadulterated evil. But uh, I, as an older, gray bearded man, have seen so much of it to know that most everybody is evil to some degree. And there's only a small portion of people that some people call Earth angels, which really have a conscience and want to do the right thing. And if I had to point out another earth angel in this world, I would probably point my finger at Elijah Schaefer for sure. And uh, I've been watching this guy for a few years now, and I've seen him come up. And I trust him, and he's telling you. Now, you might say, well, how does he know if they're Antifa or not? One of the things he said before all this is Antifa can't really disguise themselves because Antifa smells funny. And having stood face-to-face -face with an Antifa member and taunted them, I can't tell you how many of these uh, black cat clad loudmouth commies I've got in the face of Antifa and tried to get them to punch me. I've done it a dozen times. And I just, I mean, one guy, I literally tried to uh, tongue kiss him. You're going to think that's gross, but I was trying to do anything to trigger his what little masculinity he had into taking a swing at me so I could take him apart at, at, at Portland. Uh, the day I met Owen Schroyer in Portland and uh, Tim Poole and uh, We Are Change Guy, I forget his name. But, um, yeah, that was a big day in Portland. and um, But yeah, I was face-to-face -face with these Antifa people. Rubbing chest. They're bumping on me, you know? And I'm elbowing them. One Antifa woman stuck a uh, bullhorn in my left ear, which I have a little tinnitus and pain in my left ear from being right stage and, and being uh, having the drummer right there and that cymbal in my ear. In fact, if you make a loud noise, it'll almost knock me out. I got something wrong in my ear, <laughs> you know? But um, she stuck this in my ear, and it felt like somebody stuck me in, a, in the ear with a knitting needle. And I just gave her one of these wax on, wax off. I knocked that bullhorn out of her hand. It hit the ground and threw in, flew into a thousand pieces. And I couldn't help but laugh at her while she tried to pick up the parts. And she looked at me and she said, it was brand new. This is my brand new toy. And I said, that was assault. You shouldn't stick that in my ear. Hearing damage never comes back. You stole something from me. <laughs> and a lot of this stuff wasn't even on video because my two boys that were with me 
didn't go into the crowd. Like I just went right into the Antifa and took my finger in their face and dared them to hit me. So I can attest to the to the thing that uh, Schaefer joked about. Antifa does smell funny. They smell like pot and patchouli. They smell like incense and B.O. They don't have the same uh, um, idea. The whole younger generation, I'm afraid, I, I mean, I'm not going to put them all on that, but a lot of the younger generation do not appreciate personal hygiene like my generation did. I mean, if a woman smelled anything on you except for aqua velva and, and dial soap, uh, you weren't getting a second date, you know? <laughs> That's just my generation. You know, body owner was the worst offensive thing you could do. But these... Antifa smells funny. I'm not trying to be mean. It's just true. Their bodies are different. They live on a different diet. They're vegans and they eat a bunch of soy and they don't eat a bunch of red meat and they do not have this. You know, I'm an old guy, but let me tell you right now, this is solid as a rock. I don't have hardly any fat except right around my navel and right around the love handles on the back and those will be gone soon that I am a beast. And so are most people who live a traditional American lifestyle who have some discipline, right? I spent a lot of time in the gym. I grew up with dumbbells and barbells in the house. In fact, when I said that, my foot hurt a little bit because I remember the thousands of times I've stuck my own toes on my own dumbbells. <laughs> so Antifa is easy to spot, not to mention the fact that Elijah Schaefer knows these people's faces. If there was a, a known Antifa members roaming around in the Capitol in that group, Elijah Schaefer would have had a camera on him. Let me tell you, he knows them. Now, were there Antifa at the protest? Yes. Some are saying that Antifa started breaking glass outside the Capitol building first before that I'll buy, I'll buy all of that. But don't you tell me those people that went in that rotunda were Antifa because I've seen all the footage. I know Antifa from a mile away and that was not them. And I hate to throw our own people under the bus, but those were Q people. Now, having said that, that the lady that got shot was looks to me like a Q person. The buffalo-looking Viking guy who went and sat in Nancy's chair is, uh, you know, they're saying that the guy that went in the office and sat on Nancy Pelosi's desk and left with a lectern from, from there, um, that he's a white uh, nationalist. But, you know, I don't know that to be true. I need to go research that guy. He was pretty in it. He was about my age or maybe even older. And uh, pretty once again, pretty buff old dude, right? Never could be, uh, uh, he, he could never be uh, confused with Antifa. I mean, Antifa is mostly fat lesbians. I mean, I'm telling you, <laughs> the boys they have there are what we call cucks. And they're, and they're subservient to the big burly fat roll hanging over their, through their black outfit uh, women. And Antifa is easy to pick out of the crowd, people. Don't fall for this. So why are they trying to put the, the violence on Antifa that happened inside the Capitol building? Okay. Now, whatever happened outside, were Antifa building around, whatever. But the group Elijah Schaefer was following, those were buff, Jim Rat, turn your head on backwards, brawl. I would have, I would be even having uh, black belts in two different disciplines. I would be hard pressed to hold off some of those young bucks when they're full of steam. Okay, so them young, them young red blooded Americans that that fought with the cops that you know they hurt. And I don't know if she was one of the. Uh, uh, we have apparently we have a dead cop now that somebody was injured and now they're dead. When that initial attack happened. There were four Capitol Police trying to hold up about a 12-foot barrier about the size of a cow gate. And, you know, the sections, it's like uh, six or eight-foot sections. And they started pushing on the, on the deal against the police. And the police were pushing back. And then a couple of overhand rights came in. And then the bas baseball cap went on backwards. And then uh, another Capitol policeman come running down. He did an over-the-top punch into, and punched a, one of the uh, Proud Boys. I think they're Proud Boys. That's my opinion. Proud Boys are a little harder to spot when they're not in their uniforms. And they said they, you'll notice there was no Proud Boy uniforms in any of this that I saw. So Proud Boys were there. They weren't wearing their uniforms. I think these guys were Proud Boys. Now, why would Alex Jones lie about all this? And, and why would Alex Jones make, some, make a righteous man like uh, Elijah Schaefer seem like a liar with his rhetoric about how this is all Antifa? 
Why would he do that? Well, I told you that Owen Schroyer is like this with uh, Proud Boys. Proud Boys are on their show all the time. Enrique, Enrique is on there all the time, okay? Now, I'm a supporter of the Proud Boys. You've heard me tell you they're not a white supremacist group. They're not. Enrique, the leader of the Proud Boys who just recently got arrested in Washington, D.C., is a black Latino man, okay? He's not, he's not even the slightest bit white, <laughs> okay? So he can't be a white supremacist. So um, why would Alex lie about it? Why is he pushing this narrative? Why is this false information that Antifa is the ones responsible for what happened inside the Capitol building? Why is that lie being spread? Well, it's pretty simple. They're lying to protect their friends. And honestly, that's what separates me from most people. And it's why I live alone in a van, in a van down by the river and a shotgun shack and a cabin down by the creek. It's why you guys are mainly my only friends. I have a couple of trusted alliances in this world that aren't blood family. And I protect them very carefully. In fact, I don't spend a lot of time around them because I don't want to screw up the foundation we have already <laughs> in our friendship. But I don't have any friends because I won't lie for you. I won't tell your wife you were at my house when you were fooling around behind her back. If she asks me if you're having an affair, I'm not going to lie for her. I'm not going to out you. I'm just going to say you need to talk to your husband about that. It's not my place to talk to you about your relationship with your husband. And I'm telling you, I have lost more friends. Almost every best friend I ever had, if they had a dark side and they got caught in a lie and they tried to force me into lying for them, they all got a rude awakening. I will not lie for you. I just won't. I like heaven and I like Jesus way more than I like you. I don't care who you are, even if you're a pretty woman. Now, having said that, I'll lie to the popo. I'll lie to the popo up one side and down the other. <laughs> they, no, 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 it ain't none of their business. They don't need to know what I'm doing. They don't know who I'm with. They don't need to know anything. And they can just suck eggs. I'll, I'll tell them I... Yeah, I, I got that I got that item from aliens who came down in a spaceship and gave it to me and they deal with whatever they want to deal with on that on that little do, deal. <laughs> what are they gonna do? What's the Phoebes gonna do with that story? I'm going full tilt full tilt crazy if they ever capture me. I'm never gonna be captured, but if they ever capture me and uh, I find my if if I wake up in a hospital bed chained to a uh, chained to a uh, rail with a bunch of bullet holes in me and I'll be like, dang it, they didn't do the job. They only half killed me. <laughs> If I find myself there, know this, I'm just going to go full on, uh, I'm a nut job. I'm just a crazy person. You know, I talk to aliens, which leads me to a side note. I'm going to re release a song today called uh, Sometimes You Gotta Break Down to Break Through. It's a comedy song, but it's about a guy losing his mind over a breakup. It's kind of funny, and uh, I'm going to try to release that today as well. Just an audio clip, maybe with my picture on it, I don't know, uh, just for listening um, I got some software, so I'm pulling some of this old stuff off my track, but, uh, off my old machine and getting it into this computer. But at any rate, so why would Alex Jones lie? He's lying to, to protect the people that are there. And I guess you get to a point in a war where you have to lie. And I might, I might lie to the popo, right? I might lie to the enemy. I'll probably lie to the enemy. In fact, lying to the enemy I think is righteous, okay? But what I won't do is what Alex Jones is doing and gaslight my own people to save a handful of people who knew what they were getting into. They knew they were committing a crime when they went in there. They were making a political statement. And I hate, I really hate to just cop out, be a chicken shit, and blame Antifa as much as I hate Antifa. No one hates Antifa more than old Sage Wanderer. You know that. I would line them all up and see how many of them I could get with a single round. You know how I feel about them. However... I think it demeans the life and the death and the sacrifice that that righteous woman, who I wish I could remember her name, it's her name spelling's a little weird, so I'm having a hard time getting it in my head. But this Air Force vet, this beautiful woman, that's another thing. She was so pretty. Her and her husband made a, a beautiful couple. You ought to see him. He looks like an action hero. He looks like Thor's dark cousin. I mean, this guy is, uh, well, he's stacked like a ton of bricks. Big man. Big man. Wouldn't want to... Uh-uh. He's the reason God invented Colt. <laughs> He's the reason God invented Smith & Wesson. I, you know, I wouldn't... I mean, it's like uh, he's grizzly bear-sized, okay? So this was a beautiful couple. 
They were both patriots. She was a veteran. She had been a member until just recently of the Washington, D.C. National Guard. And she was the tip of the spear. If you say it was Antifa, you're demeaning her sacrifice. She stuck her head through that window to try to climb through because she was little and they're going to hoist her up. She, was, she reminds me of my sister, my deceased sister, who uh, she was little and she would go into any little nook or cranny or through a hole or whatever if you needed to go, to go up in the attic or underneath the... We'd send, send my sister in there because she was fully capable as a man uh, in all ways except her size. And um, you could send her right under the house to go snake that wire for you and she could fit, you know, where I couldn't get my shoulders through the hole in the wall. So um, this is kind of the role that this lady played in that deal. They boosted her up. They were going to send her through first and have her pull away some of the barricades and let them in. And I don't think any of them dreamed that they'd get shot for trying to go into the people's house. And I'm telling you right now, I don't care who it hair lips. I don't care who it makes mad. Take me off this channel. I don't give a flip. That woman is a hero, and the man that shot her is a tyrant, and if you don't put a rope around his neck, there is no justice in this world. Rittenhouse is being prosecuted for defending himself against an angry mob, right, who was armed and shooting at him. He was all alone, outnumbered, and had no barrier between him and the mob, and he is going to go to prison, I'm, I'm afraid, for defending himself lawfully and legally on video. Where this freaking piece of crap cop or whoever he was who fired that shot at that woman who poked her head through the hole and blowed her and, and shot her and killed her dead, shot her twice. It was no accidental discharge. I've seen the video up close now. He intentionally shot this woman because he told, you know, it's comply or die. This is what we're dealing with with the popo. I'm sick of them and they're part of the problem and they're the ones we're going to have to deal with. And I ha hate to agree with Antifa on this, but the cops suck. Anybody who would do this and anybody who would defend that man, they're defending him. They're going to make him a hero. They're going to put Rittenhouse in prison and they're going to make that son of a bitch a hero. How does that make you feel? So don't tell me those people who were putting their lives on the line in civil disobedience in a peaceful protest to go into a place called the People's House to object to a fraudulent election you're going to tell me that those people were Antifa. You're pissing on their memory. Were there Antifa at that protest misbehaving? Probably so. They're a bunch of peckerheads. I'm sorry, pardon my French. I'm so mad I'm having, I'm having to choke back the F word, every other word. So... If you don't believe old sage wanderer that those people that went in there and gave their and risked their lives for you and for this country were antifa, if you don't believe me that they weren't antifa, that they were patriots, I, I think I might have got that backwards. Okay, let's make this clear. If you're saying that those people were not patriots, if you're saying those people were not us, those were us. If I had been there, I might have been there right with them. I will tell you this: I'd have done a better job of trying to save that woman's life. The, the ridiculous lack of response to her being shot is horrible. There's a cop there, and they keep tugging at her backpack. Like, he's afraid to help this woman because he because he, he's too paranoid about the other people that are there. And so, you know, I would prosecute that guy, too, for tugging on her back strap instead of reaching in there, a backpack strap, instead of reaching in his pocket, pulling out his knife, and cutting her clothes away to get to that wound. Try to put some pressure on it. I'm, I'm so mad, and I'm mad at my own people, too. You know, I'm so mad at, uh, at everyone. Ted Cruz, these two senators in Oklahoma, I've got the f next four years of my life cut out for me because I'm going to primary every, every rhino I can lay my hands on. I'm going to get involved in the election process. We can say that cheating didn't happen here. In, uh, uh, it might have happened in Oklahoma City District to some degree. I don't know why they would uh, other than to try to move local races, you know, within the Oklahoma County. But, um, you know, there there was no cheating because what's the point of cheating when, you know, 96% of the people walking in are going to vote red, okay? They're going to vote for a Republican. But I'm I'm furious with those Republicans. Uh, I, I'm so angry, I can't even pull their names up. But the ones that are saying, this is terrible, I... This is awful. We're going to prosecute these people. We're going to have their heads on a platter. How dare they? Now I'm not going to stand up for Trump because these people went in. Because the people went in the people's house and got killed for it. 
I mean, really, who's the victim here, you dumbasses? Who's the victim? Is it, is it the, uh, the young lady, the young Air Force veteran who gave her life? Or is it the dumb son of a bitch who shot her? Who's the hero and who's the victim here? Is Nancy Pelosi the victim, honey? Oh, I saw, I laughed, I laughed. I'm so happy at those, those, uh, those congresswomen and congressmen were running for their lives. It made me grin. I'm sorry for her to be sitting down and going, ah, ah, ah. what do you expect when you piss off the American people? They're going to come for you, you dumbasses. What do you think? We're all a bunch of, a bunch of morons. You think we're all a bunch of wimps? Now, I'd have been right in there with him if it was me. You know that's true. I'd have been right in the head of that mess. I might have stopped before going in. But if, the if Elijah Schaefer went in, I'd have been right on his heels. <laughs> I'd have been right on his heels. So, <clears throat> was what happened awful? The only thing that's awful about what happened is that an innocent woman was shot by a trigger-happy nut who needs to go to prison or the electric chair. You can't be afraid from your, for your life when you're surrounded by armed people. The, your, your retreat level is clear. You have a clear retreat to back up, right? And you just shot her because it's comply or die with the police. There's a sickness in our police force where they believe if I tell you to stand on your head, you better stand on your head or I'm going to shoot you or tase you or beat you with a club. And that just ain't the way it's supposed to be. I reckon I'm a relic. I reckon I'm a dinosaur, and like all dinosaurs, I'm set for extinction. But like the dinosaurs, I'm going to go out with a bang. Come and take it. God save our republic. Wolverine.